What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. We have a very fun episode today and a very special guest. If you don't know who this is, this is Nikki Smigs. Thank you for having me. Yeah, appreciate it. Of course, we're today. Making cannolis today. We're making cannolis, and I'm going to ask Nikki a bunch of questions while we fill cannolis. So we'll see how this that goes. Be interesting. I've never done this before. I've never so, done this before either. But it's so. Fortunatos, so they're going to be good regardless. These are really good right? cannolis. So even if we mess it up, they're going to taste great. Start? Yeah, sure. This I'll is, just put you. I'll just put ugly. you on the spot completely. This is gonna be ugly. All right. Okay, my first question that I'm sure a lot of people would love to know is what made you get into stand up? Honestly, Maniscalco is a oh boy. There goes. Do the you want me to hold it? <laughs> oh God. We're, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> I believe it's early. It's early. All right. This is just the first one. <laughs> the tenth one will be great. What made me get into stand up? What made me get into this video is what I want. No, I'm just. <laughs> Um, Fully regrets it. No, I was doing like videos and stuff online during the pandemic, TikTok and stuff. Didn't really expect, you know, a career change to come out of it. But how does that? How did that go? That's beautiful. It's not very symmetrical, but it has character. I, I'd still eat it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the comedy club started reaching out and asking if I wanted to stand up and. I kind of thought I'd go like more the acting route, but couldn't say no to some career in entertainment. Give it a shot. So. So what did you want to do before? I was doing there? like I was doing marketing, sales, like advertising stuff, but always had you know the dream of being an actor or you know all that stuff. And cool. um, so Maniscalco was kind of my motivation because he kind of had the same story of. This looks like it's not. I, no, no, I no it's, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. His story was the same of like, you know, just didn't know anybody in show business, make it happen by himself type thing. So it was an inspiring thing. Of course, Italian family, my grandmother was like, just because Sebastian can do it doesn't mean you can. I was like, that's exactly <laughs> what I need to hear right now. But yeah, so the, the pandemic videos really gave me the, gave me the shot. That's so wild. You never know. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You never knew the pandemic could really change your life for the better, right? Yeah. Seriously. Give this a shot? Oh yeah, I was told this too earlier. You have to hold this like a baby. Really? Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. So, oh, avoids two hands. Okay. Some, I'm, I'm a lefty, so I'm doing this wrong. Okay. Good to know. Okay. We'll You're lefty. Again. Yeah, I am too. We're both artsy, it's okay. Yeah. What's your craziest fan story? Do you have one that's oh, like absurd? I had one actually happened recently, like a month ago. Uh, I was opening for Joey Gorga in Milwaukee. He was doing a meet and greet after the show, and I saw a, a girl that was there asked Joe to jump on his back and take a picture. So mm -hmm. like, he was giving her like a piggyback ride, and that's the picture she wanted for the meet and greet, and Joe didn't care. And then on her way out, she saw me and was like, oh, your set was great, you know, great job, I'd love to take a picture with you. And uh, this was just super weird, I didn't know what to say. I didn't, no one was really coming up to me because, you know, it was Joe's show. So I didn't really have a reason to say no, but she was like, just like I climbed Joe's back, I'd love to climb you too <laughs> for a picture. Uh, can I jump on you from the front, though? Hi, <laughs> though. I was like, and my, fa my, my mom's from Milwaukee, so I had like relatives, like 10 or 15 relatives there that came to this show, and they were standing right in front of me. So I had to take a picture with this girl. Okay, I'm gonna jump on you, ready? And I was just like, oh, I, I'm regretting this already. And literally, <laughs> so literally, I'm like holding her. She jumped on me and I took a picture, and it was most, my, it was beet red. Of course, it was embarrassing, and just, oh that picture's out there somewhere. That's so I'm amazing. Sure it'll come back to haunt me, but. Is that what you were kind of going for? Yeah, that was fans? great. So you were talking that about was... Gorga before this, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, I forgot that happened. So that was. That's wild. Can't you say no? Or Probably, is that... but like. But then she'd I'm be not, like, you're who so. Who might have say no? Yeah. Like, you know, come on, I don't care. But it just, you never know what someone's going to say to you in person or doing person. That's <laughs> wild. Show. Well, I'm glad you've had a worse experience than filling cannolis here. So. Yeah, I, I think this <laughs> is probably less embarrassing okay, uh, great. for me right now. So. Well, here you grab yeah, another one. The next one? All right, yeah. Let's do it. I want you to tell the story. The, if your dad needs a bread guy that you have at Sebastian. Oh, I think that's God, so funny. That's pathetic. So, <laughs> if you don't know Sebastian, I assume most people do. His shtick is, you know, I'm bothered, you know what yeah. I mean? And he always tells stories on his pocket. I like a baby. Yeah, like a like, this really is, like, malnourished like, child. Like this? Yeah. Is this kind of what we're... Yeah, get a get a nice thumbnail here. I feel like I'm ready to light up Sonny <laughs> Corleone at a toll booth. A little more cream down. I got the whole... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start folding. Thank you. Oh, shit. oh yeah. It's coming out the other side. That could have really ruined your jacket. Oh, this thing looks like. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened to. Yeah, why did you. <laughs> you, got, you wanna fix it? Yeah. Alright. I mean, these, these are gonna taste right good. That's all I'm gonna do. Baby matters. would have thrown up on you. <laughs> 
Tell the, the bread story. Uh, okay, so I went to Sebastian's book signing. This was before TikTok. 2017, 2018 in Chicago. We had a book signing and I was working for a food, I was doing, at a food service job, a food service sales job, working for a bread company, Toronto Bakery. If you're from Chicago, you know Toronto Bakery does mm -hmm. por Portillo's, Bone of Beef, Johnny's Beef Stand. All the best beef sandwiches in Chicago are Toronto Bakery. I, for some reason, I got up there. I mean, this guy's like my idol, you know what I mean? He's my motivation. He's the funniest comedian to our family. I get up there, and eh, not bad. That was right? beautiful. Was it good? Yeah. yeah. This thing looks, has seen better days. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pass it off to you. All right, great. So I finally get up there, I meet him, you know, and uh, I had business cards on me because I just came from work. Mm -hmm. I was in the, in the, driving around, going to restaurants and stuff. So I, after my last stop on the road, I go to this book signing and I'm like, for some reason, I, I really was starstruck. I was like, this is the guy that's, you know, convincing me to chase my dream. So I, I wasn't even, I swear to God, it wasn't even, it was pathetic, to be honest with you. <laughs> For some reason, I go into my pocket and I grab my business card. I'm like, if your father ever needs a Filone Paisano, which is like a, a name of a bread loaf that they had. <laughs> and like two weeks later, he goes, he's like, all right, thank you. I don't know what to do with this type thing. Two weeks later on his podcast, he goes, they're talking to him and Pete, the Pete and Sebastian yeah. show, they're talking about fans that meet them. Long story short, he's like, yeah, when people give me business cards, like, what the hell am I going to do with that? And I was like, oh yeah. Oh no. I'm not saying he was talking about me, but just like, but he was talking I, you about forget you. that he's, <laughs> that's the last thing he needs. A bit. What's he gonna do with a business card? Everything bothers the guy. Why would I give him a business card? Honestly, you, know I mean? you were, you were memorable. I, right? Not in a good way. <laughs> but you know? good or bad, you're memorable. Again, it could have been a, out of context, you know. I'm sure you got a ton of business cards besides mine of like, hey, whenever you're in town, I got a restaurant and stuff like that. But it so, just happened to be the week yeah, after. Yeah, I was like, oh God, why, why would I do that? Like, this is, the, <laughs> this is what he talks about on stage of people bothering him. And yeah. I just gave him a bread card, like he's gonna go to his dad, like, hey, this guy Nick gave me a card, like, whatever. So, yeah, that was that was embarrassing, but. Uh, That's anyways. amazing. He That's was a amazing. nice guy. He, hung out with everybody answering questions and stuff so he was he was a good guy that's a, I feel like that's always a good way to meet someone though is like when it's embarrassing so then you can be like remember when I did that yeah. really embarrassing thing and now we're yeah, cool yeah I feel like it's sometimes just best to just play cool because that's exactly what he would but do. then he wouldn't have remembered you right I'm not saying he did like I said it could be multiple business it cards, was probably you we'll see about that <laughs> anyways all right we'll move on to next next cannoli next question all right. if you had to pick one casino goodfellas or a Bronx tale me too. That's like my favorite movie. Me too, that's my favorite time. movie. And Casino, or Goodfellas is a close number two, but Bronx Tale. I mean, yeah, I can't watch Casino, There's honestly. so many lessons in that movie. Yeah. Nobody cares. Worst thing in Saddest life, thing waste, in life talent. waste of talent. Waste of talent, you know, the $20 story. Yeah. Stop chasing the guy that owes you money, it's better not to have him in your life. It's and incredible. Stuff. And it's funny, and Pesci's in it at the end. Yeah, so. my dad made me watch the end of Casino when I was like four years old, <laughs> so I'm absolutely <laughs> scarred. Yeah, that, so, that's a lot. That's yeah. quite the beating. He was like, watch. it's educational. I was like, really? When am I going to need this? What's one thing you can't live without? Oh, sorry, I was hogging One thing here. I can't live without? Yeah. God, I mean, it, it, this is probably the Top most three, maybe. stereotypical answer, but like, I could eat Italian food every day. Is that the most? Like, I, no, I, I would honestly, say the same thing. That's got to be it. Yeah. Um, good food, good life. Other two. Funny movies. Couldn't live without them. This is very generic, isn't it? Um, <laughs> no, you're good. And cannolis. I mean, yeah, there honest. we go. <laughs> no matter so, what they look like. Exactly. Um, they'll go down the same spot, right? Okay, do you have a, a worst date story? Or would you not share it because a p person would know? No, that's all right. Okay. Um, Should we tag her? Oh, God. <laughs> I had someone ask me, like, after dinner, the first dinner. This was a couple of years ago, pretty recently. She brought up a New York Times article, like talking about how horoscopes can like tell you like, your path of like whether you're gonna be with somebody or not. And it was just, it's not that bad, but like for a first date to like talk about if your birthday's on this date and mine's on that date, then that means <laughs> we should have nine kids because yeah. of the palm of your hand. By the time you're whatever age. Oh, I couldn't get out of there faster. It was <laughs> scary. Like you don't talk about that stuff on a first date. That stuff, I don't believe in that stuff really anyway. So to bring it up on a first date is just like, can we just get past the favorite color before we go into horoscopes? I feel that. Article she brought up. She probably brought that up for every other article. <laughs> or maybe she already every knew your birthday date. was just waiting for the conversation oh, God, to let it you was know. So weird. So that's, uh, there's been worse dates, <laughs> I'm sure, know. but uh, the horoscope thing on the first dates is a bit much. If you, know. you ever go on a date with Nikki Smegs, don't ask him when his birthday, birthday is. Birthday is. I mean, He'll run out of there. The signs and the zodiac <laughs> stuff. These don't look that bad. No, they yeah. don't. They've just got character to them. I feel like with sprinkles, they'd be great. 
Okay, so you moved to New York. Yeah. What is your one thing you love about New York, one thing you hate? Kind of generic, but. One thing I love? A lot of Italians. Yeah. People are like, not that I expected you guys to be standoffish, but like if from for a Midwesterner, I wasn't sure. Like how standoffish really are like East Coasters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was, uh, are we doing another one here? Yeah, go sure, ahead. Why not? You're enjoying it. Everyone's just a character. There's just a lot of characters. Yeah. I kind of love that about everybody. I feel like I fit in because I'm, I guess I'm kind of a character and, and the more characters you meet, it's just uh, the funner it is, and it's been an easy transition for me because of that. When we're sitting with six of them right now, <laughs> and uh, I, bet I just met these people the past six months, so it's been uh, that's it's awesome. Been a ton of fun for me. The bad thing about New York is the worst traffic in the entire world. It's the most stressful, yeah, painful. I thought Chicago was bad. Yeah, getting off Long Island, I, I would rather watch paint dry. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's horrible. You can so, get gridlocked here in the city. It's bad. It's bad. It's just... And no way out. Like, you can't work. make a different turn, nothing. No, it's the worst. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, happy I'm here. Making cannolis and uh, Italian content, so... <laughs> Amazing. I'll take it. Oh, you have one, uh, your dad meeting Sebastian's dad? That was crazy. How yeah. did that happen? Uh, so, he, we grew up in the same hometown. Um, his dad still lives like five minutes from my parents. Ran into each other at a grocery store, and uh, my mom and dad recognized him. So my dad went up to him in the parking lot. I, I, my dad didn't want to be the guy to be like, "Yeah, my son's the guy that you know, your yeah. son follows on Instagram." But he, they basically just made you know, remember Jimmy Kimmel Live? Like you know, my son was the kid that your son gave the A to. Whatever. He brought up the Kimmel thing and. Uh, the picture's hilarious because uh, if you haven't seen it, it's just Sebastian like pointing at my father. Yeah, I like, saw it. The? And my dad's doing one of these. It's just the most classic Italian <laughs> dad shot ever. But uh, yeah, no, he's still in Arlington Heights, back in Chicago. A funny confrontation for sure. So, yeah, that was a good photo. Good exchange. Yeah, the picture. Who got mom, that? Your mom? mom? Yeah, she took that from the cards. She, she didn't want anything to do with it. She Iconic. Wanted, she wanted to be like the fan girl because she knows <laughs> that Sebastian talks about that stuff on stage. But my dad was like, hey, what you gonna do? I'll talk to Sal. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, it ended up being good content, but. That's awesome. Yeah. You got another one of this? I'm trying, but I'm really just making a mess. We, we got more this. than we thought. We got seven right now. Is I know, I one actually. more show? I think, I think I can make this happen, but right. let's see. Okay, so hey, I'll ask you, you. You do the question thing. All right, I'll you want to mess around with that? <laughs> I feel like this is one of Sebastian's bits. Yeah. The, the, the tooth, this is every Italian I father. I love that one. Like, there's, there's more left in the toothpaste <laughs> thing, you know. What does Sebastian say? Go buy a new tube. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jim's Corner. Welcome to Jim's Corner on YouTube. Yeah, I, oh my god, I love that Literally, one. Literally, this is it, except it's cannolis, which is more which worth is, it than toothpaste, yeah, for the record. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Come on. You gotta get every inch of cannoli I don't cannoli know how out. much we're gonna, it's Fortunato's, I mean, come on. Yeah. We'll see. Would you prank call somebody acting like Sebastian? I've done it before. You have? Yeah, I prank called Little Caesars, and like, I Oh asked, my god, I, I think I saw that episode. I asked them episode. to, oh, you want me to do it now? I guess we could do yeah, that do too. Yeah, would you call someone yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, sure, you got, yeah. This is embarrassing. <laughs> what do you know? No, he Who? wouldn't know. Just be like, I don't uh, want to say it on tape. against Jackie. You won't believe we're here with Sebastian Maniscalco. Does he know? Yo, he would die. Does he know? <laughs> Does he know? What? No, no. Okay, yeah, give me, give me the phone. I'll call yeah. Greg. Who Did you ever meet Greg? Never Tall met Irish Greg. guy? Never met Greg. He He's cooks great Italian he's food. Yeah, olive oil guy. Do I smell the olive oil on? He's always like, hands, Let's see. He's gonna say something incriminating against me. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's got to answer. Is this the Krusty Krab? Is that his voicemail? That's fed up. Is it? No, I thought it was him. Oh, you want to leave a voicemail? That was him. That was him? I thought it was your voicemail. Call him back. Why Wait, would why would he say this? I thought it was him. Hello, this is Squidward speaking. Craig, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought that was your voicemail. Um, oh no, my God, fine. you should have came today. Do you know who's here with us right now? I don't even want to guess who. Greg, I swear to God, Sebastian Maniscalco is here. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Wait, oh my God. Can I put him on the phone with you? <laughs> Can I put him on the phone with you real quick? Real quick. Hold on, one second, one second. Would you mind talking to my friend? I mean, I don't really want to talk to a guy who answers the hey, phone. I don't want to talk to a guy. <laughs> uh, Squidward? Uh, <laughs> uh, you answer the phone? What happens when your mother calls? You say it's Patrick Starr? I mean, what the? Hey, Are you doing my impression? I'm confused. I don't know. My impression is absolute garbage. That's all right. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, Heinrich. What's your last name? 
Oh my god, yeah. I'm, I'm the Irish. I'm the Mick of the family. Nah, I heard you're a good guy. And, you know, nice we could talk. I thought that was your voicemail too, but... Uh, no. <laughs> I should make that my voicemail. I heard you caught a charcuterie Anthony, board. I fucking heard that. You heard that. <laughs> Why didn't you come today, guy? <laughs> Uh, talk to your boy Anthony. Your rod is mic'd up making content. Meanwhile, <laughs> you're at home answering like it's Squidward's <laughs> sequel or Secretary. something. Secretary. I had some, uh, some stuff going on today and then he left uh, pretty Greg, early. you can't tell Sebastian Moscow you have stuff going on today. You couldn't show up. Well, I texted Anthony and he never got back to me, so I also blame Mr. Sherado over there. All right, Greg, I'm totally um, pulling your leg. I'm here with Nikki Smigs right now, but he's doing a great impression of Sebastian for you, so. <laughs> No, it's next year. Oh, that's so... <laughs> I couldn't tell. I, I it wasn't my idea. I promise. It was mine. Let me put you on the spot. Oh, 100% new is Jackie's. Here was I'm here with him. I swear, I swear. I don't mind. Well, it's kind of a fail, kind of a kind of a win. It's yeah. a good impression, though. Oh, thank you. No, Great yeah, impression. No, he, uh, <laughs> I never had anybody answer the phone like that. <laughs> I, I thought it was his voicemail, yeah, that's why I hung I, up I, on I him. Kind of like special. <laughs> he is really special. For a place that lives above a deli, you think you'd have more napkins than... Uh, yeah, Jesus. Oh, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Thanks for making cannolis with me. Great time. See you guys another time. Thanks. Thank you guys. Dope.